everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to another video yes i'm still in the same outfit because this is another bookish video so so excited these are some of the books that i've acquired in the last couple of months and i haven't really done a bookish you know what's new in the book collection you know in the bookish sphere of my life so i'm going to share that with you right now today right now so welcome to the channel if you do enjoy the bookish content please give this video a like subscribe to the channel and if you want to be part of the membership space with a lot of bonus content that is very different to what i do normally here please do join the channel space the joining link is listed down below and i would love to have you here so bookish people these are some of the books that i have picked up in the last uh, couple of months actually so these so are the books that i have picked up in the last couple of months i've been doing really really well and not just randomly buying books i've been behaving so a lot of them four of them are from jonathan ball publishers thank you so much for jonathan ball publishers to jonathan ball publishers for sending me these amazing reads two of them are from me so from my pockets basically so the first one which i'm really really excited to read is sorrowland and this is by river solomon so if you don't mind me reading the backs of the books because a lot of them i cannot even tell you what is happening but i'm going to share it with you by reading the synopsis so in this one we've got vern who is a hunted woman alone in the woods she gives birth to twins and raises them away from the influence of the outside world but something is wrong not with them but with her own body it's changing it's stronger it's not normal to understand her body's metamorphosis verne must investigate the secluded religious compound from which she fled and the violent history of dehumanization medical experimentation much like lakewood okay um and genocide that produced it in the course of reclaiming her own darkness verne learns that monsters aren't just individuals but entire histories systems and nations if that doesn't sound good to you i don't know what you want to sound good to you okay the next book that i have here is sister maiden monster and this cover if you're not a horror reader, I suggest don't pick this one up because it is a horror novel. And in this horror novel, we follow the story of three women, three point of views, and we follow the world where a virus absolutely tears across the world. And as it collapses, dark forces come alive and it drives a group of small women small women together right so we've got three women who end up doing really really strange things one of them erin is really interested in eating the brains of women uh, the other one savannah is a bdsm switch who discovers a new turn on which is committing brutal murders for her eldritch masters then lastly, Mariva, who is plagued with chronic tumors and is too horrified to acknowledge her divine role in the coming ap apocalypse as her growths multiply, so does her desperation. I'm excited. Am I sweating? I absolutely am because it is so freaking hot. And these books are from Jonathan Ball Publishers. Thank you so much. So excited. The one that I'm very excited about is this tiny little book here. And this is by Ben Oakry. And this is called Tiger Work. Look at that cover. It's the color. It's the colors meshing in together. This one is essentially about climate change. So it's a bunch of short stories mixed in together with poems that deals essentially with climate change. This earth that we love is in grave danger because of us. Forests are becoming legends, rare as unicorns. If we continue to live our lives as we do now, there will be no left world left for us to fix. Ben Okri argues in this evocative collection. He imagines messages sent to us from beyond the end, from those who saw it coming, exhorting us to change now. Oh my God. All right, the next one, which I'm really, really excited to read is by Khalid Khalifa. And this is called, No One Prayed Over Their Graves. Oh my God. Look at this, look at this, look at, look at the face at the bottom. 
Oh, beautiful. This is December 1907. One morning after a night of drunken carousing in the city, Hannah and his friend Zachariah returned to their village near Aleppo only to discover a scene of tragedy. A devastating flood has leveled their homes, shops and places of worship, and their neighbors and families and children are nearly all dead. Their lives will never be the same. Tracing Hannah's life before and after the flood when he embarks on a search for the meaning of life, no one prayed over their graves is a portrait of a wider society on the verge of great change. From the provincial village to the bargaining moder modernity of the city, where Christians, Muslims and Jews live and work together, united in their love for Aleppo and their dreams for the future. Who, as a literary fiction reader, this this stuff makes my life. Then we have Anna O, oh, and this is by Matthew Blake. Now this one was really, really interesting for me because we are following Hannah, Anna, Anna O. Oh. <laughs> we are following Anna. Let me tell you something, Anna's been sleeping, okay? Anna has been sleeping for four years, okay? The first time that she was found sleeping, she was sleeping near the bodies of her dead friends, two of her dead friends. And Anna is suspected of having had something to do with the deaths of their friends. So now we follow Dr. Benedict Prince, who is a forensic psychologist, and he wants to get Hannah to wake up. Anna, Anna, get it together. He wants to get Anna to wake up because he feels like he can wake her up. There is something that happens in deep sleep that he might be able to suss out actually what really happened on that night. Do I want to know what the hell Anna did? Yes, I do. Do I want to go off if it is Anna? For some reason, I don't think it's Anna. I think she was placed there. I don't know, but we're going to have to figure it out. So I cannot wait to pick up this one as well. But I'm probably going to pick it up in the winter time because for me, uh, thrillers are really more enjoyable in the winter time. Thrillers and horrors, super enjoyable in the winter time. And then finally, we've got First Lie Wins, and this is by Ashley Alston. Now, imagine, imagine someone steals your identity. Just imagine it. Somebody takes your name, everything about you, from your name to your social security number, listen, your ID number. This is what happens in this book, okay? You meet a stranger at a party. She looks like you. She even has your name. She's here to take something that you have. How far will you go to protect it? Oof. Evie Porter has everything a girl could want. A doting boyfriend, a house with a picket fence, a fun group of friends. The only catch? Evie Porter doesn't exist. Right, right? First comes the identity, then the mark. The last piece of the puzzle is the job. For Evie, this job feels different. The mark, Ryan Summer, has got under her skin and is starting to picture a new life for herself. She's starting to picture a new life for herself. But Evie can't make any mistakes because the one thing that she's kept clean, the one identity she could always go back to, her real identity, has just walked into town. So she ain't Evie Porter. She's somebody else. But the real perp, they didn't just walked in. They didn't just walked into town. Ooh, a woman has stolen her identity and she wants more. As Evie's past catches up with her, can she stay a step ahead? Ooh, I really genuinely feel like these two are going to be great winter reads. Absolutely fantastic winter reads. So that's what I have picked up. That's the book haul. I hope you enjoyed the haul. I hope you enjoyed the books that I've had to show you. What are you currently reading? What have you picked up? I'm always looking to pick up new books. I really do not mind. I love, love, love books. Thank you so much again to Jonathan Ball Publishers for picking up, the, for sending me. I'm talking so fast for sending me these books. I really do appreciate it so, so much. So, so much. What are you currently reading? What have you recently purchased? What do you think I need to get my grimy little hands on? Because I would love to. Thank you so much for watching. As always, please do watch the ads. Subscribe to the channel if you did enjoy this video. And also there is much, much bonus content in the membership space, which will be linked down below. The link is linked down below. And if you cannot join the membership 
Creative Space, please do donate and support the channel by watching all of the ads right through. Please watch the ads and donate to the channel if you can. Thank you so much for watching the video as always. Thank you so much for choosing me over and over again. Until the next video, I'll see you very, very soon. Until then, sayonara.